a giant amongst men, Earl Campbell was one of the most feared running backs in NFL history. The man nicknamed the Tyler Rose was born in 1955 in Tyler, Texas, where he learned to play the game he would come to dominate. It was his fifth grade teacher that turned Campbell onto the game of football. After leading his high school team to the Texas 4A state championship, Campbell traveled down the road to Austin, where he would begin writing his legacy at the University of Texas. In 1977, Campbell led the nation in rushing and was awarded the Heisman Trophy, the first in Longhorns history. You know, when I was a kid and I'd get in trouble, I'd always say, hey, Mom, I'm in trouble, you know, so, Mom, I'm in trouble. In 1978, Campbell was selected with the first overall pick in the NFL draft by the Houston Oilers, where he won rookie and offensive player of the year in the same season. At 5'11", 233 pounds, and a 4'5", 40, Campbell was a rare combination of speed and power, allowing him to punish those players who dared to get in his way. And here goes Earl Campbell. He knocked out Robertson on his back. Rocked out. Oh, oh. They're going wild in Houston. Oh. From 1978 to 1980, Campbell led the league in rushing for three straight seasons becoming just the third running back in NFL history to accomplish the feat and won the NFL MVP award in 1979. Campbell spent almost seven full seasons with the Oilers before finishing his career with the New Orleans Saints. In 1986, after eight grueling seasons, Campbell retired. Four years later, he entered the business world, launching Earl Campbell Meat Products, Though the grind of the NFL eventually limited his mobility, Campbell fought to stand tall. In 1991, Campbell was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Every team I've ever played on, I've always tried to share with the guys that I played with. And I think if any of them ever had anything to say about Earl Campbell, they'd say he's a giver, he's not a taker. 